Thank you so much, Pastor John. That was very, very powerful. Our next speaker is our last speaker before we uh, start our march. His name is Shahid Buttar. Please, can you come to the front? Um, he, he is a constitutional lawyer, a community organizer, MC, DJ, poet, and former congressional candidate. He organized direct action challenging Bush's wars 20 years ago, spent most of the last decade fighting government surveillance from three letter agencies in Washington to your local police department, and ran for Congress on a platform including executive accountability for torture and human rights abuses. Please a round of applause. Zindabad, Afghanistan. One of my great grandparents is Afghan. And I relate to the present situation as much as a Pakistani American. I grew up hearing tales of the US milit the US backed military dictator who basically vilified the entire religious community that my family belongs to and more or less chased us out of the country. I am an American because the crimes of our military industrial complex started well before the last 20 years. But we have seen over the last 20 years sustained lies of every conceivable variety. And I want to talk about two kinds of lies in particular that we have heard from Washington that created the mess, the humanitarian disaster that we see today in Afghanistan. The first is drone strikes and the second is torture. We know that in drone strikes, nine out of ten of the casualties are unintended, so-called collateral, effectively random deaths. The U.S. military whistleblower who told us this is currently serving a multi-year sentence in federal prison for the crime of alerting the American public to how our resources are being used. Are you okay with that? With respect to torture, no U.S. executive officials have ever been held accountable for torture at sites including Bagram Air Force Base, 40 miles outside of Kabul where innocent people were beaten to death. We face in the war on terror a battle for hearts and minds. There is no surer way to lose it than torturing the people we are supposedly trying to help. We have to look through the lies from Washington and Langley that stretch around this planet, that stretch across decades. We are here today to support refugee resettlement to support humanitarian aid, and to keep the Pentagon's grubby, lying hands off of a country that has borne the brunt of 20 years of lies and imperial hubris. Thank you. Zimbabwe, Afghanistan. Zimbabwe, Afghanistan. Zimbabwe, Afghanistan. Thank you for being here today. All right.